Hey guys, yeah, Level, I'm about to edit a couple of Twitch clips that I took from yesterday's live stream. Yes, I do live stream. I played a scary game, so I have a bunch of funny clips, and I'm about to edit them into Adobe Premiere. So I thought, hey, why not just show you the process? No sponsors, no blah, blah, blah. We're going to jump right into it. So we're here in Adobe Premiere, and uh, those are all the clips. We're going to edit like two of them. I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a new project. Click on new project. I'm guessing this is not really like for beginners or anything. Uh, you're going to pick where you want that new project to go choose location. So I usually create a new folder and then up here you can give it a name. We're just gonna call this one clips. We're gonna press enter. Now congrats, you created a new project. What you can do is create, uh, go to file, create new sequence. And then from there, you're gonna have a bunch of options. You wanna find something that's kind of, you know, 1080p, DSLR, 1080p 30. I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna change that a little bit. So time base, we actually want 60 FPS. Well, you will want 60 FPS. I only stream at 30 FPS, I believe. So I don't need that. We're gonna flip those. We're gonna do 10. 80 by 1920 so that's going to be portrait mode for the previews if you have like a slower computer you can lower that but i'm going to keep that on and now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop our clips we're going to start with this one called helicopter click drag it and then the second one is going to be prisoner all right so pretty nice what you can do here well my setup i have my projects and my my project clips so over there and my effects are on the left side here my effects control and my source is going to be here. This is my preview and my timeline is going to be there. The right side is mostly going to be essential graphics. Anyways, let's go back to, pro to the clips from the project and to the source here. And I'm going to drag and drop this to see that clip. I can play it. Yeah. Is she calling about your extended car warranty? And I had TTS uh, during the stream. So chat is speaking, so I'm not going to put like subtitles or anything this is mostly for my reaction and there we go now i'm gonna drag the entire clip i clipped those myself so the the length is pretty good here we're gonna do keep existing settings i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and scroll up to zoom in bring it back here and we're gonna first thing i want to do is actually make sure that this the audio is correct right most important thing audio so you can see here i needed to go up to minus six pixel uh six pixels <laughs> six decibels so right now it's really low so i can either add something like 10 now it's pretty loud or oh, it's louder or something like uh 13 but usually what i do is i have a preset that's gonna have dynamics it's gonna have mastering so it's gonna make everything look, sound a little bit better it's called Ampl amplify a preset I'm gonna drop it here it uh it has this thing where it drops more of the effects so i'm gonna select those delete those and yeah so it's volume six decibels I'm probably gonna bump that dynamics is kind of like a compressor right so we have the compressor here there's expander a limiter so everything's gonna sound better like we're gonna hear the actual gameplay a little louder yeah. and i'm gonna sound a little bit better too is she calling about your extended car warranty we so really have the atmosphere of the game and that's kind of perfect for me okay cool and then the um, uh the mastering sorry is just an eq and then the amplify is just uh extra decibels we have 1.6 here okay so from there i know that i'm not gonna apply any cuts this is a 18 seconds clip it's pretty short i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and i'm gonna duplicate it once I'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and duplicate it twice because i know i'm gonna have the background that I'm going to select here is the one at the bottom. I'm going to scale it all the way up until it kind of fills the screen. We can click on motion here to see, you know, exactly where it goes. See that? Boom. But it's going to be like the blurry background that you usually see. I'm going to put it all the way up there. The second one is going to be the gameplay. I'm going to bump it up just a little bit. Not too much. 130, maybe a bit more. I can get away with losing a little bit of quality here because the gameplay is not, you know, it's not high def or anything. And then that last one is actually going to be our uh, camera. So I'm going to position it a little bit towards where I can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to click on opacity here. You're going to see different forms of mask. I'm going to click on this, the ellipse one. And I'm just going to click in the middle of it, drag it until it's kind of in the middle. And then from there, I can do some adjustments. Right, I can do it like that. And uh, it's not super precise, but I'm pretty satisfied. I'm gonna make sure the mask feather is at zero so it doesn't you know, blur out. And then from there, I can position it or just click on motion and then click and drag, put it where you want. Uh, 
You can also move the, the anchor point here, put it there so that if you scale, it's going to scale from the middle of your mask. There you go. So that's pretty nice. I want it to be kind of big, not too big. I'm going to align that center point with this. If you don't have that part, uh, it should show up right here. It is safe margins. If they don't show up, you can click on plus and then add safe margins right there. Cancel that. And uh, this is pretty good. And we already have something looking decent, blah, blah, blah. And here we can check out and actually bump up this a little bit better because I don't want my camera to actually show on the left here. So we're going to zoom in way more. I'm actually going to drag it down just a little bit so we can see the content. And um, we're pretty much done. <laughs> we're pretty much done. This is the clip. Bring that here. Baby. Yeah. Is she calling about your extended car warranty? I'm actually going to cut it short. I want it to be stopped here. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to bring that down. And now it's a 16 second clip. Usually you want to keep it around 15 seconds. Uh, those are the most viral clips. All right. Now, if I want to add something like a logo, a text or anything, I'm just going to go to my Twitch channel on Windows. I'm going to press Windows key, Shift and S to bring up this thing right there. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to save it. Nice. Now we can find it by going here. Control I to import. Now it's right there and you can put it up top. And now we can format it. Bump up the scale a little bit when I put it at the bottom here down a little bit. It doesn't have to be high quality. Everyone has a high quality phone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to keep it like that, that's fine. If you want to put it all the way to the top, that's also fine. Personally, I would want it the background to be transparent. And um, in order to do that, let me, let me exaggerate a little bit. If I tap levels, do I get levels? I can adjust levels. Nice. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. This is me overcomplicating it. You don't have to follow those steps, but black input level RGB is what I want. I'm going to drag it until that gray turns to black. Nice. And now I can switch the, the opacity, the blend mode. I can switch that to add. Boom. Now it's transparent. If you can still see it, just bump up the black input level. Let's put 12. There you go. Put this back to fit and it's that easy. Uh, if you want to add a Twitch logo, you would want to download that from uh, Google Images. I have one right there. Can drag drop. Boom. Put it on top. Boom. This is the old Twitch logo. We're going to change the color a little bit. We're going to put that right next to it. We're going to scale it down. Actually, I'm going to put it on the left side. Right there. I'm going to add a tint effect. And I'm going to put both colors to white. So it's full white. Tint. White white boom uh, it's a little low you can move the position right there there you go that's it that's it if you're having issues you're losing too much quality you can add like a sharpen to make it like slightly sharper which i might actually do to the gameplay footage uh maybe an unsharp mask there you go unsharp mask one percent uh, one radius, 50% is completely fine. It's going to be super sharp. And that's it. And you can actually control M with the timeline selected and export it. And I called this one prisoner. Nice. Click OK. And there you go. Just like that, you have a TikTok clip. Now, if I were to switch it up, and this is the important part of this video, is if I want to do something else, I do not have to repeat all those steps. I already cut out my face from this clip, right? Why is it not showing me the mask? <laughs> Show me the mask. I, I already have a mask here. I have the gameplay here. What I can do is replace the first footage. You see this one is prisoner.mp4. I can actually right click, replace footage, go find the other one, which was helicopter, double click, and boom, as you can see, already perfectly formatted. I actually don't like the position on those two things. Gonna move them a little bit. There we go. OK, so my clips are already formatted. If you really want to add uh, the blur, I forgot to add the blur on the other one. It's not it doesn't matter. You can add I like adding a camera blur because it looks a little bit different than a Gaussian blur, but you can also do that too. camera blur. You can drag and drop it to the bottom thing. As you can see, it, it uh, blurs it a lot. I like putting it to five. Boom. What you're seeing here, the zebra stripes is those clips are shorter. I mean, this clip is shorter than the other one, so it stops here. Usually what the get your timeline i'm sorry get your timeline about here 
and select everything, bring it down, boom, and we're ready. <laughs> Hopefully like that, I'm too scared. Hello. Helicopter! All right, we're actually gonna add text to this one. Uh, if you have a long clip with a lot of text where you're talking a lot in Adobe Premiere, you can go to caption and then generate the captions automatically. In this case, there's not a lot of text. This is me going, I'm gonna play like that, I'm too scared, and then going, ah, and then helicopter, ha. Ah. So I'm gonna add that text manually. So I'm gonna bring my timeline where I see the audio starts. <laughs> so hopefully like that. So I'm gonna play like that. You can alt, uh, roll, mouse roll. <laughs> Hopefully, like, oh my god, I cannot articulate, especially when I'm scared. I'm gonna click on the T here for the type tool. I'm gonna type like two words by two words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press Control A to select all of them. I'm gonna switch the font. We're gonna go with Montserrat. We're gonna go with black as uh, the the format. And um, here you can really, really customize it the way you want. I like adding a stroke here. We're gonna make it black. Boom. We're gonna um, actually four is fine. I like a little bit of shadow. So like the color of the shadow, make sure it's completely black. Um, I also like to make it 100% visible. And that's it. If you want to add a color, you can do that. If you want to switch the position, it's going to be up here. And if you want to center it, actually, I'm going to center it on the center line. And then I'm going to click here to align it to the middle. So everything I type from now on is going to come from the middle. I'm going to control Z on that. Boom. Hopefully, <laughs> We know that play is here. I'm going to shorten this hold alt to duplicate so i just duplicated it we know the next word is play i'm gonna play play like play like that play like that maybe we'll put all the the text i'm gonna double click on the t here or double click on here or double click on the preview it's all gonna work play like that like that that and then the next one is gonna be scared i'm scared drag it down i'm too scared i'm too scared forgot about that yeah. You can see here, too scared. Nice. I'm gonna drag it on a little bit so people can register it. <laughs> Hopefully like that, I'm too scared. If you wanna put it word by word, you can do that too. If you wanna animate it a little bit when it comes in, one thing you can do is, is play with the scale. For example, right before it starts, let me show you. Right before it starts, you can, I'm gonna click on scale. Before that, I want it to scale up. And then in the beginning, I want it to scale all the way down, kind of, but not a lot, right? From there, I can click on vector motion. I can right click, I can save the preset and let's call this one poop. Nice, you select that. So now the cool thing is that if I, if I select this thing and I go here, effects, presets, I'm gonna find poop and I can drag this to this text. And now this text has the little animation. Same thing here. Remember, depending on how you save it, it can be proportional. So if your text is long, when it comes to timing, it might play the animation way slower. <laughs> Hopefully like that. I'm too scared. All right. It's not the smoothest animation, but it works for now. You can also right click and ease in so that it slows down a little bit, but I usually don't do that much. So <laughs> Hopefully like that. I'm too scared. Hello. Helicopter. Okay, here we're going to go helicopter. I'm just going to click with the text tool. Um, heli cop. Center it. Make sure it's around the same spot. And we're going to dupl duplicate it, holding alt, dragging it. And we know this one is just me going ah for a while. So we're going to type ah. Nice. And we're going to animate this a little bit later. Right? So helicopter, we can drag our poop thing so it pops in. Helicopter! We're not gonna do the same animation here. What I wanna do for this one is I'm going to make it go from right to left. So I'm gonna go to the position, gonna bring it all the way to the right. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch to start a keyframe, go all the way to the end, drag it as if you were playing the animation. And there you go. Boom. So what does it do? What does it look like? Let's play it back. <laughs> Hopefully like that. I'm too scared. Hello. Helicopter. And that's it. That's it. If you want to add more animation, for example, if you wanted the ad to shake, I have like some presets that you can download. This one is for from Cinecom. I believe they have something called the Ultimate Earthquake Pack. And if you just drag and drop on your stuff, it's going <laughs> to... It's also going <laughs> to... It's also going to shake a little bit. 
there you go so that looks pretty cool same thing you click on the timeline Control m and boom you have your clip helicopter exploit and you're done now, if you want to see more tutorials of things that I do in Adobe Premiere, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you're brand new to editing and you want to start with like a free software and you want to learn the basics, I actually already have a video on it. So click it right here, check it out and get started in making videos. I also have a video on how to make channel trailer. It's a great exercise uh, for your Twitch channel, but for you to learn editing also. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get a level, out.